my layover hotel room. I just woke up. Well, that's kind of a lie. I've been awake for about an hour. Woo! So sorry. I hate yawning on camera. Um, I've been awake for about an hour, but um, my van time this morning is 5 a.m. So it is currently just about 3 a.m. and I need to take a shower. Today is hair washing day. It's also go home day. Um, so I'm filming currently, um, I normally film with this Canon PowerShot uh, G7X Mark, is it two or three? I don't know, anyways, <laughs> and I love having a camera. This camera was like $900. It was my first like true investment in my YouTube channel uh, other than like Final Cut Pro is a one-time purchase. Um, a better investment would have been a better laptop, <laughs> I realize now. But at the time, yeah, I thought a camera would really elevate my experience and my videos. And it kind of did. I'm not going to like totally discredit it. However, as I'm doing Vlogmas, um, the video qualities are so bad. I mean, Still with this camera, it's like you need a gimbal super badly, or I do because I film like this or something. I don't know, the focus, I cannot, I cannot get that camera to focus. And um, yeah, that's really frustrating and the videos look really bad. So right now I'm filming on my DJI camera, which connects to my phone, um, which gives it better sound I think I don't know the DJI is on a gimbal itself and I would show you except that I'm filming on it okay so I am gonna try and show you this DJI I'm just realizing there is absolutely no light maybe that will help um with my Canon camera and see what I can show you so so here's obviously my phone and this is what it looks like and it attaches to your phone through this little like iPhone attachment and it's on this gimbal so when you move it, <laughs> it's so heavy in my hand, I'm pressing buttons, um, when you move it the gimbal like still gets smooth you know so it's not as shaky which is like the biggest complaint on my videos and I see it too so I'm not like mad about the complaints but it is pretty bad. Um, so yeah, it is, it makes it a little heavier and again, it's hard because I always want to look at the phone and there's a difference as when you're looking in the camera, but yeah, you do all the controls on your phone when it's connected, but it works when it's not connected as well. But I like to see, you know, what I'm doing on a big screen. Um, it's like a, I think supposed to be DJI's kind of competition with uh, GoPro so it's a handheld thing anyways I really like it I just it's it's I don't love filming on my phone because I'm always using my phone and it's attached to my phone um, yeah so anyways but I'm gonna try to film this vlog with it to see if the quality is a lot better um, so yeah if you'll leave me a comment after and tell me if you prefer the videos which is every other video basically with the Canon power shot, or if you prefer the way this looks, um, please let me know. Yeah, so anywho, I am, ugh. the only other issue with filming on this phone is the camera's right here, so I'm looking into the camera, but I wanna be looking into my phone screen because that's where everything is, so I can see the <laughs> phone screen now, and I can see that it looks like I'm not looking. So that's a struggle that um, I have to get used to. Um, I gotta go get a glass of water. We're gonna make coffee because it's early, I'm tired. I did sleep pretty well last night though. I can't complain. I had ordered um, Uber Eats ah! and it was, it was pretty good but it was junk food and ultimately I didn't eat that much because I think I wasn't in the mood for junk food. 
and I didn't honor what my body was telling me because I was just so hungry. When I'm starving, everything looks good. Okay, BRB. Um, so yeah, so when anything and everything just looks good, then I just get like the most disgustingly, like you guys, this food was, I was going to vlog it, but it was like too disgusting. I mean, too disgustingly like good, but junk food. Um, okay. See how that turns out. My alarm's going to go off in a couple of minutes, two minutes to be exact. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, this food was like. Is this not? Oh, I unplugged the coffee machine last night. <laughs> I forgot to plug it back in. Okay, there we go. Um. So yeah, it was like curly fries with sautéed veggies, guacamole, some kind of vegan ranchy chipotle sauce. It was good. And then I got two burritos and they were huge. I mean, bigger than my Chipotle burritos are. I only ate like a little piece of one. I didn't even try both. One was a NorCal burrito. One was called the SoCal burrito. And one of them had Takis in it. Um, I didn't even try the other one because I got the other one in case I didn't like the one. And yeah, it was too much. It was too much. But All right. We got coffee. It is life. It is life. <laughs> okay. I gotta go take a shower. I've gotta wash my hair. I had to get rid of my hair mask that I usually travel with when I was in Switzerland because it didn't fit in my liquids bag and it was the only thing I was willing to part with as far as liquids. Um, so, yeah, I'm just using conditioner. I don't feel super great about it. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna go do that done showering I blow dried my hair probably I do it like 75% um, the two things I've been putting in my hair I got from my hairstylist when I got my hair dyed blonde because I was really worried about the quality of my hair and to be perfectly honest there's a big difference in the um, texture of my hair since I have bleached it Anyways, if you're having trouble with the texture of your hair my biggest thing that I tell everybody I ever meet um, is stop bleaching it. Uh, that was the single best thing I ever did for my hair. And yeah, I definitely noticed a difference since I started bleaching it, but I like being blonde. So that's what it is. Um, someday if, when I get sick of it, I'll go back. But anyways, these are the two things that I'm using. So this one is Pureology, um, 100% vegan ingredients in case anybody is wondering. Um, I also bought the shampoo and conditioner, but I don't travel with them. So uh, I might start. Maybe that'll help. But the thing is, is these aren't necessarily the products she super recommended. Um, but she owns the salon and she carries them because she likes the product. And she did use some in my hair, but um, I told her I would only use things if they were vegan. So this is what we landed on. This is a... Um, um, multitasking leave-in spray. So I use quite a bit of it, uh, between like after I wash my hair before I blow dry it. And then after it's about 50 to 70% blow dried, I use some Olaplex oil and it's just bonding oil. And oh my God, I'm obsessed with this stuff. It smells like gummy bears first off and it like looks and makes my hair feel the best that I noticed the most difference. So Anyways, I'm not going to vlog my whole routine, but I've plugged my curling iron in. I've got that going. I have to keep an eye on the time because I usually am down to the last minute. So all this talking is surely going to set me back. And um, I'm going to do my makeup and maybe I'll at the very end show you how I've been doing my makeup like for the holiday season. Okay, so I'm officially done doing my makeup and almost done with my hair. I just, once I curl it, I give it like a nice thorough brush and as you know I don't use any hairspray or anything um I just like how it looks when I put it up in a cloth clip for work when it's curly as opposed to straight even though it did look good straight if I wasn't doing anything I probably would have left it straight but yeah there we go um okay so my holiday makeup that I've been doing you've seen it before I I think I've even vlogged while I've been wearing it but I've been doing just like black liquid eyeliner. This is just the e.l.f. one, but I think 
Wet n Wild makes my favorite liquid eyeliner. I just, I'm used to using it and I like it. So I've just been doing that. And then I use, let me show you because people are definitely gonna ask me because it's amazing. I had one last year, but I got a different color combo. This is the Heavy Metal Liquid Liner Glitter Style from Urban Decay. You can get it at Sephora, probably also Ulta. So I just use that to make this line of glitter. It's just pretty subtle. Um, sometimes I'll put it on my full lid and I just use my finger and go like this while it's still wet to spread it around. And that's how I do my glitter, always. People always, always, always are wondering how I do my glitter. There's also a cream glitter eyeshadow made by e.l.f. that you can get at Walmart, Target, or anything. And that one I use on my lid as well. Um, highly recommend. And then my lip combo, I just do like whatever nude NYX lip liner. This one, I don't even know. This one's Sandstorm. I like it to be a little darker, but I found this at my mom's house. It's just an e.l.f. lip balm. It's like a tinted lip balm. SPF 15 sunscreen. It's just called Pink, and it's a super light pink, but I like it because it's a little bit glossy, and it is a lip balm, so it feels good on my lips because... Liquid lipstick and stuff tends to dry them out. Even lip gloss makes them want to peel. So yeah, that's what I've been doing for my lip combo. So that's it. I'm done getting ready. I'm right on schedule. I've got about a half an hour until my van pick up. So I might make one more cup of coffee. I'm a little bit shaky this morning. I think it's because I'm on my period. Um, and that, I don't know. If you menstruate, you understand. Sometimes when you add the caffeine, it does like make you a little shaky. But um, I am going to make another cup of coffee. I don't know if I'll drink the whole thing or not, um, just to take with me. And then, um, yeah, so I'm going to get ready and go. The next time you're going to see me is probably when I'm already in New York. I Hello, everyone. So today's the next day, and I'm currently sitting on the floor of the airport. I'm currently just sitting on the floor of the airport. I, um... Stayed here in New York last night um, and I'm on reserve tomorrow and so I keep bidding for trips I'm hoping to get a three-day trip tomorrow because I'm good for three days <laughs> And so I want to work and not be stuck in New York for three days with nothing to do um, Without my van <laughs> This is when I'm really starting to miss it So anyways, I'm in desperate 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 need to do laundry if I can guarantee that I get a trip tomorrow where the hotel has a laundromat, I could just do it then. But there's just no guarantee. I don't know what's going to happen. So what I think I'm going to do is take the air train from JFK to the, like, just Jamaica station or whatever station at the air train. And there's Walgreens there, there's a Starbucks, and there is, like, laundromats and stuff over there. So I'm going to take my stuff and I'm going to go do some laundry and yeah and then I was thinking about going into the city and going to Barnes and Noble because I just finished a light and flame today and oh my gosh I have so many thoughts I talked about it on my Instagram a little bit but I don't know maybe I'll do a separate video talking about it but it was a good book it wasn't as good as A Shadow in the Ember um but I think it's probably a very necessary book in the grand scheme of like where the series is going it was still good. I still cried many times reading it. So if you've read it, I would like to know your thoughts. Um, give a spoiler alert in the comments if you are going to give a spoiler. But yeah, I um, I definitely connected more with Serafina in the first book than I did in this book. Um, but I feel like there was a lot of repetitive details and a lot of they purposefully were making her ignore things that like I don't feel like was realistic that she would ignore but anyways um so that's why i didn't like super vibe with it but it was still a great book still 10 out of 10 recommend series um no court of thorns and roses are uh from class but those are like so beyond nothing will ever compare um so yeah so anyways i'm gonna get my stuff get to the air train stay going it's i think it's late like it's like 11 or almost noon um this makeup is still yesterday's makeup <laughs> i slept in it um which is why this eye is like a little irritated i feel like it looks a little bit lazy i don't know whatever anyways also this nail is chipping and breaking off and they're just press-on nails so i gotta get some new press-ons and redo those 
Then I'll be ready for work. And so far I bid for a three-day Phoenix with like a 27-hour Phoenix layover. I'm really, really, really hoping to get that. Um, but I'm gonna go in and see what other stuff I can bid for really quick before I go. Um, and then hopefully by about 4.30 p.m. I'll know what I'm doing tomorrow. So. Jamaica Van Witt. 